Testing, testing, testing the mic. Let's go, testing the mic. Okay, another session of cardio and bullshit, which I've been slacking. But today, uh, today we're going to be, let's set this recording up. Today we're going to be monitoring my heart rate just to keep me, uh, how would I say it, indoor cycle, yeah, just to keep me honest, all right, so we're not going to start until I would say my, my heart rate is around, I don't know, 115, that's when I'll start. So as soon as I can get my heart rate at 115, we'll begin. That's when the clock starts. We go for 30 minutes and we're done. You guys get to see exactly how many calories I'm going to burn. And uh, what does it say? The active calories, the total calories. Right now, right now my heart rate is at 94 beats per minute. <clears throat> and it's uh, 1159. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get the full screen in here. There we go. Yeah. So this will show you that 30 minutes of cardio is not going to burn a lot of calories. I'd be lucky if I get about, I don't know, maybe 250 calories in 30 minutes. So this is why a lot of guys that compete, they'll do cardio during the day and then another session of cardio at night to try to burn, you know, as much calories as they can when they're dieting, which I'm not going to lie to you, man. I've been off on a diet uh, only because I just, I've been dieting for so long. I started in January and I slowly decreased the calories. And I didn't stop until about, I would say, two and a half weeks ago. So I went from 147 to 152. And you can see a noticeable difference, man. Just in five pounds, you can see a noticeable difference. So I'm slowly starting to get back into it again. And, uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not counting calories. I'm not weighing the food, so I'm just definitely just guesstimating what I'm eating throughout the day, but the bottom line is this, is that, and I'll always say it, you gotta count calories, man. No matter what you see on social media, you gotta count your calories. There's no other way. If you, if you want progress, if you wanna get lean, you gotta count them. Unless you're doing like an absurd amount of steps, you know, 20,000 steps, 25,000 steps a day. Uh, and then maybe you're saving a large majority of your meals towards the end of the night where you're kind of like skipping breakfast, maybe even skipping lunch, having like uh, maybe two to three meals within a four or five hour window. I could see how you can drop some weight doing it that way, kind of like fasting a little bit. But if you want to get busy, count your calories. Count your calories and decrease your carbs a little bit because that's the only way you're going to get lean, man. And God only knows, I've been having, I would say, one entire loaf of Italian bread uh, every day. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. So we start right now. I'm four minutes in. What is it? It just went from 115 to 111. I'm four minutes in. There we go. I would say in five minutes, five minute warm up. 
and then we get right into it. Keeping that heart rate anywhere from 115 to 125. That's the level two zone that I talk about, where you're burning fat and not carbs or sugars or whatever, or fat, you know, muscle or whatever. You know, you're not, you're not going nuts burning, uh, burning calories. I don't know how that works, but I know the slower uh, your heart rate is where you can carry out a conversation. You know, that's where you want to be. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, so carrying out the conversation while you're doing cardio, that's where you want to be. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. That's all you need. Of course, follow, that, follow up with that. Without eating a loaf of Italian bread a day. Some good protein. And you'll be fine, man. You'll start to get lean. The reason why I stopped uh, the diet going into the summer is because I just don't want to burn out. I don't want to crash. And... And then come midsummer, I'm just, I'm just done, you know? So I was at it for five, six months, take a little break, get back at it. My goal is to be as lean as possible. Be as lean and healthy without feeling hungry, uh, being able to walk around, uh, you know, without being hangry. <laughs> Word. What did you guys think about that, uh, that debate last night? Crazy. <laughs> I actually, um, I recorded it, and I recorded my reaction to the videos. Maybe I'll, up I'll upload it. It was kind of dull, with the exception of Joe Biden's weird stares and his sloth-like movements. The shit is wild to me, man. It's wild how I even got that feeling where the commentators were allowing Trump to have more screen time because Biden just looked hella awkward, moving real slow and touching world. his and nose. We're making significant progress by 2035. What the fuck is that? <laughs> we, have made, we have made significant progress, and we continue to make progress. We set up a climate core where thousands of young people will learn how to... What a mess. So, yeah, so they just... I feel like they, you know, just from, from the views, Trump had more screen time than Biden. Definitely because of the way Biden was looking, for real. Not to mention his speech. We all know he had a speech impediment, stuttering issue or whatever his entire life, but there was a lot of shit that he was saying that I was like, what the fuck is he saying? Like, I, I don't even understand what he's talking about. I don't know. And a lot of the shit, you know, that he was saying is the same nonsense that we hear every election. Every damn election, the same damn bullshit. Whether it be talking about immigration, which is a problem, but immigration, uh, foreign affairs, foreign wars, you know, which honestly, I just don't give two fucks about. 
I don't care. That's not my interest, man. And uh, and then just gaslighting, I think, like, or sending kind of like just a, a, the wrong message to why he would want to be elected. Always bringing up the black versus white issue. Democrats do that shit heavy. That's their main, that's their main talking point. It's always about black and white. It's just all fucking nonsense. Like, we're over that shit already. You know, why is it that he mentioned you're a first time, if you're a first time home buyer and you're black, we're going to give you, what was it, $10,000 and tax rebate or whatever the hell he's talking about like for what i mean are, are we still living in in the 19 fucking 20s like why do you keep and it's not just him but it's the entire base both parties man why do we keep bringing up the same race issues man I don't know. It just makes no sense to me. You get tired after a while just listening to the bullshit. It's like, is that all you got? Are you talking to real Americans? Are you talking to people that lived here their entire life? You know, asking them what they need. And I'm not talking about people in West Virginia and the countryside of Pennsylvania. I'm talking about people in big cities, man. Are you you really talking to these people and trying to get a feeling as to what's hurting us? I got to slow down my my cadence. Can't be at 131. 125, 115 and 125, people. I'm going to tell you what's annoying. I'm going to tell you what bothers me. The fact that I need a permit for damn near everything in the land that I own, I supposedly own, but I need a permit for everything. They'll tell you, you can't have chickens, you can't have livestock, you can't have horses, you can't have this, that. I sit on a little bit over a, uh, an acre of property and that's the shit that bothers me. Like, why? What, what, what's the big deal? I don't live in an HOA community, right? I own this land. It's my house, okay? Why can't I have a few chickens? I'll tell you why. Because they want you going to the grocery store, buying them overpriced eggs. That's what they want. And that applies to everything. That's a real issue. That's a real issue today amongst many people. Whether you own land, property, house, rent, it it doesn't matter. It's all the same. You can't do this and you can't do that. I'm tired of it. I can't do shit and haven't asked permission so that way they can raise my taxes. That's what it's all about. They want you Fill out the permit so they know and they see what you have, and they'll just say, hey, go ahead, we're going to raise your taxes. I live in Monroe County, Pennsylvania, in a township called Price Township. It should just be called Pricey Township. And, uh, My taxes are, I think, close to 11000 a year. For what? I don't even have land posts outside. We have no sidewalks. This is not a nature way. Just houses. Houses sitting on land. That's it. I'm paying 11000 The most expensive township in Monroe County, I 
think when Grove County might have, I don't know, last time I checked was a little bit over, I want to say two or three million people or something like that. That's what comes to my mind. Uh, but not a lot of people, man. You know. You go down the road two miles, two miles down the road, and their taxes are literally a third of what ours is. For what? Why? Because we got bigger homes, bigger land? I don't think so. That's what our concerns are. You want to talk politics? Let's talk about the things that, that affect us in our pockets like that. There's people in this community right here that refuse to buy a pool or build a pool, an in-ground pool, because our taxes will shoot up a few thousand dollars. So the hard-earned money that we work for, that we would love to go ahead and build out our backyards, you know, put down decks and patios and all that good shit. As soon as you do that, they're like, oh, you got money. Yeah. You got some money. You gonna take that from me. Make sure you fill out that permit so we can know exactly how to tax you. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta stand up because my nuts are numb. Ugh. That's what angers me, man. And you don't, you don't really hear too much about that in these debates. All you're hearing is Palestine and Israel. Wars that occurred 20 years ago. I don't know about you guys, but I don't give a fuck about any of that. All I care about is school. When my kids go to school, I want to make sure that the kids are safe and they're not learning bullshit or being persuaded to be taught nonsense or think in a weird way. You know, I don't want to have to worry about schools getting shot up. Put more police in there if you have to, but we got so many issues in this country, but we worried about everybody else's bullshit. And whether it be Trump or Biden talking about it, man, it just, it really pisses me off. Let me slow down. I'm at 134. You know, it's not that I don't care about what's happening in uh, Palestine or Israel. It's not that I don't care about it, but it's not our problem, man. It's not our problem. We have problems. Let's talk about energy. Energy through the roof. I'm over here shopping for kilowatt rates. I never had to do that ever in my life. But the prices have gone up so much that I'm over here negotiating 0 0.08 cents just to pay a fucking bill. That's a problem. Those are real problems. go to the grocery store, God forbid you pull out a, you know, a steak that's organic, which is bullshit if you ask me. Uh, all that shit is nonsense. We'll get to that in a second. But God forbid you go buy a steak that's grass fed or chopped meat. You know, the 15% lean chopped meat, grass fed, yeah, that's $9 for apparently four ounces of beef. And when you cook that shit, it's really 3.2 ounces. When all the fat runs off the pan. Eight dollars for a dozen of eggs. You guys know it. You guys get the bullshit, man. This is exactly the reason why I got 12 chickens in the back. Chicken coop, 
growing them naturally. We're letting them feed, walk the ground, open up the cage, let them roam around, eat all the ticks and the insects, the most happiest chickens in the world. These chickens are growing like weed. But they're happy. You know what I mean? 12 chickens, that's all you need. In about two or three months, they'll start producing some eggs. That's a dozen of eggs a day. You can't beat that. I'm to the point right now that, shit, I'll just eat eggs for the rest of my life. It's the greatest source of protein. All we need is some, some vegetables in here, some fruit trees, which are growing, maybe a little raised garden bed, which is in the works. Start producing our own shit. And right now, it's costing about fifteen to two thousand dollars just in food alone every month. How about they talk about that? Ridiculous. But we're about what twenty minutes in. But we started at we started five minutes. Uh, after, so we're really 15 minutes into the cardio session. We got another 15 minutes left. I'm at 123 active and 153 total. Heart rate 126. Not bad. This is where I want to be. You see, I can carry out a conversation with you. This is exactly where you should be. Steady, stay cardio level two. Burn fat. Yeah, man, that, that shit had me tight last night, you know, to, to, to the point where I left feeling unsatisfied. I left feeling like the moderators were the parents and they were in control of the narrative. They asked the questions they wanted to ask. They didn't want to talk about real shit. You want to talk about abortion, and which is a very, very difficult topic to talk about, but you want to give these guys a minute or two to say their piece. I mean, that's just so disingenuous in, in itself. And then without the crowd, you know, cheering, you know why they didn't have the crowd? Because they know Biden sucks ass. And they know he's been failing for the last... What? Four years that he's been in office, and the other freaking eight years that he was with Obama. They did nothing. Like we, like we never had a migrant issue. We always had a migrant issue. That's what makes the country run, man. But we get why having them enter this country. I was having a conversation with one of my buddies yesterday. And his boy believes that there were only, what, 600,000 migrants that entered the United States? Like, what, what planet are you living in if you think only 600 illegal immigrants entered the United States? 600,000. What planet are you living on? And it's always 10 million. They've been saying 10 million since, since I was probably 18, 19 years old, they've been saying 10 million. Oh, it's just 10 million that came in. Wow. When the real numbers come in, I guarantee you it's more like 20 million. Just in New York City alone. Ten to twelve million. Those are the ones that are documented. Those are the ones that didn't get away. But the rest, man, I'm gonna venture to say double that number. More like thirty million. Easy. And again, I'm not against it. I'm not against immigration. But let's talk about what's really going on, man. 
just really told what was going on. When he, get, when he got into fentanyl and prescription drugs and all that stuff, that's a great topic. That's real. People are fucking dying. Crazy. There's more suicides and more depressed men and women. It, it feels like it. it feels like it's at an all-time high. This is why you guys got to stay in shape. This is why you got guys like myself, you know, decide to come and create this channel, talk my shit. And uh, why? Because it just makes you feel good, man. When you're when you're training, you get back into lifting, you feel good. You know, you don't your confidence. Everything just works. You're sitting down on your couch, you're not doing anything there. You start diving into your phone, looking at social media, looking at the comments. Come on, man. That right there will give you cancer. That right there will stress you out. Getting into arguments with people you don't know. Going on and chat GBT just to get a good response. You guys know what it is. Stay off that shit, man. That shit is poison. I'll be the first one to tell you, I just share funny shit. I got a group of people that I, that I fuck with, and I share funny shit, and that's it. Every once in a while, if something crazy happens, then I'll bring light to it. But other than that, come on, man, I want to laugh. I want to laugh. Nobody got time to be stressed out. I want to feel good, look good, and laugh. I had to change the uh, the memory cards on my cameras because I only get 30 minutes of uh, screen recording on these Nikon D850s. But anyhow, yeah, the, uh, the debate was a disaster. No matter what, no matter who you side with, it was a disaster. But if I had to pick one, it would be Mr. Trump himself. despite what you guys feel about him, that shit don't matter. I need somebody in there that's gonna be a bull in a China shop. China shop. Be a bull in a damn China shop, man. Fire everybody. Get into office, fire everybody. Start getting some real convictions. Start putting people away with some real hefty sentences. Whether Trump's in there or not. On both sides, mind you, both sides, they're all corrupt as far as I'm concerned. I don't even watch the news. Sad to say, I get all my information from personalities on YouTube. I don't watch the news, that shit is all fake. It's an agenda. It's all driven by an agenda. It's all lies. Whether it be Fox News, CNN, it's all lies. I don't even have conversations. If I ask somebody, where'd you get that from? Oh, I was watching MSNBC. Uh, okay. Are we working out today? What you doing today? I don't even carry on the conversation, man. Honestly. But there are a lot of intelligent people out there that don't have a voice, that are on YouTube. Some do, some have major platforms. But there are a lot, like Tucker, uh, Tim Cast, uh, 
obviously Candace Owens, uh, and people like that. ABL, you know, there are guys, even uh, <laughs> even the Hodge twins. <laughs> you know, most times they just get their stuff from other people, but you know, they make it entertaining and it's fun to watch. You know, I don't have to sit through, you know, prescription commercials after each break if you're watching Fox, CNN, or MSNBC. You know. Yeah, I just think that, uh, I don't know, man. What a mess. What a mess we're living in today. And thank God for social media to expose all of it. Because if we didn't have it, man, we'd be in trouble today. Social media is a necessary evil. And you just got to be careful what you believe. Take everything with a grain of salt. Question everything. And even if you think you got the answer, question that too. They're all lying. Every one of them. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> never have, never will. All right, guys, so we got another four more minutes left. And we can call it. And as you can see, my active calories, 187. My total calories for the day, since I had my watch on earlier, is 233. So just because you did 30 minutes of cardio does not mean you can go ahead and have a Big Mac. Because all you do is put those calories right back in. And all this work right here was done for nothing. And how would you know if you're overeating? Count them calories. Weigh your food, count them calories. See that, 124, 122, that's a perfect range right there, guys. That's perfect. You guys know the goal. The goal is to be 60 years old and look the same way. Just put the aging ability on pause. Keep yourself healthy. Keep going. Even if it hurts, keep going. If it hurts, it's because you were inactive. Maybe you did something wrong. Maybe you ego lifted or whatever. Maybe you just started training and you felt like you can go hard and you made that mistake and you pulled the muscle. Don't stop. Keep going. Even if it hurts. If I pull the shoulder muscle or bicep tear, a pec tear, don't do what I did. When I tore my pec, I stopped for 12 years. Lost muscle, got fat, should have kept going. You know, took off 90 days, whatever, got back on it. Now I'm trying to make up for all that time that's passed. That's why it's taking me so long to get lean. All this fat that I accumulated for 12 years. That shit is like, nah, we're just going to hang out right here. Right at the bottom of your belly. Keep working. Thirty-three fifty-four. One more minute. 
and it's a wrap. Today's my off day. So every time I don't train with the weights, I do 30 minutes of cardio. But here's the but before I leave. When my calories are low, I'm at like 1,200 calories for the day. I'm not doing any cardio. There's no need for that. I'm already weak as it is. So, yeah. With that being said, man, I appreciate you guys listening, training with me. You know, the one or two comments that are in the comment section. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm sure I'm keeping somebody going, whether you comment or not. You know, whether you like the video or not. I'm sure my training methods are probably helping you maybe giving you a little bit of insight. So I appreciate that. And uh, that's what keeps me going. This also keeps me honest and it makes me want to train. And the better I look, uh, the more I want to do it, you know? The better I feel on my lifts, the more I want to do it. So I'm gonna leave that here. I think the official name of these sessions are gonna be definitely cardio and bullshit. Cause that's what it is, it's just me bullshitting, man. With that being said, see you on the next one. Fuck yeah.